Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fo, cuz divinely, of course. It's focused divinely, coming at y'all right quick, right fast with a artistic read. And today we'll be doing a song. And the name of that song will be Holding Back the Years by the band Simply Red, written by Mick Hucknall and Neil Moss. Two of the main members of the band coming straight out of England, out of multiple places in England, mainly Manchester. And this song in particular was released on their debut album, Picture Book, in 1985. They are a blue-eyed soul group, soft rock, sophisticated pop, got a lot of variety going on there. Um, a lot of people have also covered this song. More people may be f more familiar with the rendition done by Angie Stone, which was featured on the soundtrack of Love and Basketball. However, Mr. Randy Crawford, Gretchen Parlato, and Luke Wade have also done covers. I may touch on some things about those going forth throughout the reading. However, I will mainly be focused on the original version by Simply Red. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this reading and you can take some time you can pause the video you can go by the card that you see you can go by the trinket that you see you can pick at ransom whatever floats your boat but pick a pile or pick a trinket and we're gonna get into what these pals got to say and what these messages may be for you. Also, you can feel free to pick more than one pal if you wish. Whatever you want to do. So, let's get into. <laughs> okay, let's go for our general lyric that I chose. This is for the this is the overall message for the song and it says i know y'all can't read my handwriting but i'm gonna read it off for you and i'm gonna get this ugliness off of the screen <laughs> but it says because nothing here has grown wasted all my tears wasted all those years and i know it's needless to say that a lot of us have been in a funk in a rut just tired and exhausted of Everything that's been going on in the world and everything that's been going on in our personal lives. I'm also picking up on um, my healers looking at this reading. We have also been consumed with worries that are not our own. Being concerned about other people's lives and how they are turning out on their journey. And there is a desperate need to learn how to let go right now to learn how to literally let go and let God and just grasp hold on to peace and happiness for dear life literally making the choice to be optimistic and to be resilient through what is going on right now because we are definitely in a last leg or last stretch of all the hell that we have been going through. So, so many things have definitely been popping up to discourage us and make us believe that things will never change and things will never get better. How to never, it's the dark before the light and the light and the overflow is definitely coming. There are just some individual blocks that we all have to get out of the way individually in order for us to really start progressing and get out of the stagnant energy that we've been in. A lot of us have been feeling like our tears and our years have gone to waste. And I'm here to let you know that that is an absolute lie that the devil is trying to tell you, okay? <laughs> but no, like, for real. Everything happens for a reason and everything happens in its season. And I know we hear that a lot, but the leap of faith that all of us are in right now is literally to just take blind action and just go for it. Much like a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius, which 
<laughs> is about to take me into what we have here for group one in particular, but us in general needing to channel real fire sign energy and just start literally flying by the seat of our asses and taking that action is what is going to bring us the answers and the freedom that we have been looking for. We've been waiting for the problems, quote unquote, to be fixed first before we take that action. But we're failing to realize that taking that action is what is going to fix the problem. And for some of us, it is not taking a certain action, meaning not putting yourself in other people's BS taking your hands off of it and letting the chips fall where they may and letting other people fall where they may and do what it is that they have to do to learn what they have to learn for their path. Their path has nothing to do with you. You have to tend to your own in order to make sure that you are fulfilling the destiny and the fate that not only you've chosen for yourself, but also that the Most High has chosen for you. So let's get into what group one has specifically. They have here the um, Carnelian Stone. And like I said, that's giving fire sign energy the need to channel fire sign energy. I'm hearing mainly Leo and definitely Aries since we are um, in Aries season. This is y'all's lyric here, group one. I'm going to read it for you. Holding back the years. <laughs> Literally the first lyric, okay. Holding back the years. Thinking about the fears I've had so long. Literally what is holding this group back right now is fear. Being fearful of certain traumatic situations and toxic cycles repeating themselves. Some of us are also fearing success. We are fearing change and we are just fearing newness. Literally, we are dealing with the fear of the unknown. Many of us know not what it is to feel genuine happiness or genuine peace or genuine love. And in the midst of this song read, I'm also hearing um, Bad by Wale. Is it bad that I never made love? No, I never did. But I should know how the fuck I feel. Bad girl, yes. <laughs> I ain't gonna try to sing right now, but you get where I'm going with that. So for some people, this is dealing this is dealing with romantic relationships. And I'm hearing that some people who are having insecurities with their um romantic relationships or feeling a stagnancy in your romantic relationships, it is literally dealing with your self-esteem and your issues with feeling self-worth um hearing that people in this group are having are stuck in the habit of feeling unworthy and unloved literally you've been getting blessings and you've been recognizing the blessings and you've been recognizing the different people that have popped up in your life now to show you different than what other people have shown you in the past however i'm getting that um many of us have been feeling like this imposter syndrome, if you will, when people give us compliments or give us positive reassurance and optimistic validation and feedback and things of that nature. We've been struggling to know exactly how to respond to it and how to channel it. And what I'm hearing is self-care on steroids. <laughs> Literally self-care on steroids there is a need to take literally 90 percent of your attention away from other people right now and put it into yourself and establishing a daily routine that puts you first i just saw 9 11 which is confirmation that this is a direct message from your spirit guides and that your spirit guides are present right now and working behind the scenes to clear out some blockages for you so let's get to these cards in particular so for our oracle card we have coherence in reverse and i'm getting that this is in reverse because many of us in group one are resisting the current literally resisting being in the right now and resisting the new wave that is coming in the frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize 
Hold up. It wants to get free. Okay. The frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind. Optimal ability, uh, mind for an optimal ability. I'm sorry. <laughs> to create the reality that we desire. And the number on this card is number 13. And for the colors, you see blue, that indigo. We got some red, some yellow, some green, some purple up in there. So this is giving me that there's a need to bring your lower chakras into balance with your upper chakras. More than likely, people in this group are either one or the other a lot of the time and not so much <laughs> balance. True balance is duality, having the ability to be <laughs> ultimately multiple things at once. You Being in the midst of chaos and still being in the spirit and the functionality of peace, if you will. So here for y'all in particular, it would be being grounded and being humble while also being empowered. I literally just said this to somebody this morning. <laughs> and so people in this group are struggling with the understanding that you can be both at the same time through being empowered comes with the lessons of being humble through being humble comes the opportunity to build on your empowerment. For here, for y'all's art card, we have Henry Day Toulouse, and it is Devon ya 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 Japanese. <laughs> if you speak French, then you'll be able to sound it out. My bad, but you can look it up. I'm turning the right side up so you can Google it if you want to, if you just really want to know the pronunciation. But this card gives me maternal vibes and ultimately people that are struggling with their feminine energy and or struggling with living feminine energies that are around them. Meaning this could be your mother, this could be a woman who is in some type of authority to you, a mentor, an older sister, an aunt, a boss, things of that nature. So there is conflict here. I'm hearing um, a bit of envy, um, maybe feeling like this person has very high standards that you can't measure up to, or it is an example and you feel like you won't be able to feel the shoes. And if you can feel the shoes, you don't feel like it would be um, a consistent effort or a consistent success. And time that with and all these cards are in reverse tying that with the princess of pentacles over here in reverse it is giving me that y'all need to learn what it is to just have fun and live for yourself literally you need to reclaim your time like turn your notifications off and like be selfish with your time. Get back to yourself. Start writing to yourself. Start creating. Start watching movies that you love. Finding new movies. I'm hearing right now that certain people in this group have literally been getting like book recommendations, show recommendations, movie recommendations, uh, trip recommendations. Just people giving you different ideas and suggestions of fun things to do and just lead your activities to do but you've been constantly saying oh I don't have time for that I don't have time for that I really want to but I don't have time for that or when I get time for that I'll do it and you gotta make time <laughs> but that's that's what spirit is saying you have to take back control and make time for the things that you want and need to do not just on your career and work side but also when it comes to having fun and and spending quality time with other people but also spending quality time with yourself <laughs> hmm, just trying to see if i can get anything else for you oh uh, um I'm going to touch on the number 13 that is on the coherence card. When you put that together, you get one and three, which is four, which is giving me y'all that this group is definitely destined for greatness. Whatever it is you've been wishing for, whatever it is you've been hoping for and dreaming for and working so hard towards, it is definitely bound to come true. You 
spirit is just putting you in position to really actually build and practice patience building your endurance not only around patience but also around peace because the way we have been socialized has been to normalize chaos and to be comfortable in chaos so we are literally having to rehabilitate ourselves to be comfortable in peace and happiness <laughs> So, um, I believe that's all I have for y'all to be honest. Oh, one more thing, working on the root chakra. And I'm hearing that the way to do this, a couple of things, just two, um, tasks that you can do. Group one, write more, talk less, listen more. And that is all. I hope this helped like comment and subscribe and I will move on to group two. All right, group two, let's see what we got for you. We're going to get y'all's lyric out the way first. Get y'all some ASMR right quick, right fast. And my ugly hand right and right quick, right fast. So y'all's lyric is a little chant that's at the end of the song that goes, Take your time, take your time, take your time, gotta take your time. So um, slow and steady wins, wins the race, group two. Slow and steady wins the race and for y'all's trinket here i picked out a nice mac lipstick for y'all's i know not the name of it but it is like a burnt orange type of color and it's giving me definitely root and sacral chakra vibes but also earth star so there's a lot of reflection um, that needs to take place for y'all group two. But I, I, I need to, um, Spirit is wanting me to really press and let y'all know right now that y'all are exactly where y'all need to be. And hence y'all's lyric, take your time, take your time, take your time. Um, I'm hearing people in this group, you've probably been looking around. This is a creative group also. There are some business people in this group or you are a artist that also has a business. And I'm getting that you've been looking around, seeing that all these, all these people doing these mass productive, um, doing these mass productive tactics where they're uh they may be posting every day or they're constantly putting out something every day or every day you hear them have some good news or you see them with something new and something good to say and you're feeling like you're not moving fast enough and you're just not doing enough and you feel like they're making you look bad and you're just feeling like kind of like their accomplishments are reinforcement that you are not good enough. But spirit is trying to get you to see that if they can do it, you can do it. See, whereas you're seeing it as kind of like spirit taunting you or life taunting you with other people's accomplishments in comparison to your failures. Spirit is honestly showing you that or putting people in position to show you that so that you can see that it is also possible for you to do if you just believe in yourself and start taking that action. And also stop comparing yourself to everybody because everybody's journey is different and everybody's way about going about things will be different. And so I'm getting that for you I'm getting the um I'm getting the scenario of like you have rappers who are like Lil Wayne or Jay Z and they spit most of their content off the top of the dome. They just go in the studio, start um they, they come up with a lyric, spit that, record it come up with another lyric, spit that, record it, or sometimes just literally freestyle off the top of the dome. And then you have other people like Eminem and Andre 3000 who are also considered heavy hitters, great legends in the game. And they sit down with a pen and a pad and take their time out and write what it is that they got to write, work on their wordplay, go about their um, double entendres and their punchlines and all of that with a pen and a pad manually old school and 
all of the people I name, even though they take different routes and are from different places and different backgrounds, they all are still considered legends and people that you can look up to and take notes and inspiration from. And that's what spirit is trying to get you to see. You don't have to be a carbon copy of anybody else because you are not a cookie cutter person. And that's the whole point and that's what's bringing me to y'all's art card here which is a carnival evening by henry rosso and you have these two figures here who are standing outside and like this <laughs> it doesn't really look it doesn't really look festive does it i'm hearing dance um in the rain and also i'm hearing that <laughs> what you consider dark about yourself or what you consider weird about yourself is honestly what makes you unique and also what you need to channel into your creativity and into your artwork. However, I am hearing that you do need to give special attention to how you go about it, to how you relay the message because you don't want to pass off um, negative vibrations through your artwork you want it to be something that is productive and basically turns a negative into a positive and helps inspire others to do the same y'all have the root chakra oracle in reverse has the number one on it, giving me definitely new beginnings. The frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life, stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies as well as in our physical world. So y'all are having issues feeling safe. I'm hearing some people are having um, money issues or just dealing with a lack mentality. Even though you may be getting money or getting, um, you know, seeing rewards back from your work, there's this subconscious thing eating at you with a fear that you could lose it at any time, which is you know, a part of reality. However, you don't want to dwell on that so much that you end up blindly manifesting that into your life or even just doing that so much that you cannot enjoy the fruits of your labor. So people in group two definitely take some time out to meditate upon your root chakra. Um, walk around barefoot inside or outside soak your feet do your toes clip your toenails rub some oil on your feet and your legs um like i said meditate find some root chakra affirmations i'm hearing some people need to find ptsd affirmations in particular and all of that is going to go a massive long way just giving yourself that attention and also allowing yourself to have fun with it is going to take you a long way and in that you will end up coming upon some epiphanies that definitely put that definitely put you in this queen of cups energy because you are going to start you are going to stop looking at life and the things that are going on as why is this happening to me and you're going to start channeling it and seeing specifically why everything has happened and is happening for you and how you can use absolutely everything both good and bad in your life to capitalize off of and use as a stepping stone and opportunities for yourself that end up overflowing into other people's lives and bringing other people up with you effortlessly there's just a need for you to go within and not think so external and so much like the glass is half empty so that you can start seeing yourself and your gifts how specifically you need to see them <laughs> Um, I'm hearing also, before I move on to group three, I'm hearing that y'all may need to speak to somebody that may be older than you, a mentor, somebody older in your family. Just have a um, vulnerable conversation with them and see what information about your family's past 
or even just about some historical events. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. But even um, about some historical events that have happened in the past and get somebody else's take on it, um, maybe their personal experience or just their personal perspective on it. This is for some people, not all, but um, have that conversation and that's going to open up some doors in your mind and in your spirit as well and clear out some stagnancy and some blocks that are going on. So I hope that helped. Like, comment, and, sub and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and I will be moving on to group three. Thank y'all. All right, group Three. <laughs> oh, I'm just um, I'm feeling very excited about this group for some reason. You know, I'm feeling like some people are really excited and some people are really nervous about um what is going on and also what is to come for them. So that <laughs> let me just get straight into it. Gets right into y'all seven of cups card right here so um i'm picking up some gemini's i'm picking up some gemini's in this group because um some people in this group have a tendency to kind of go back and forth between a light and a darkness and between an optimistic and a negative mindset and because a lot of people in this group have a very strong gift of manifestation things tend to be literally a roll of the dice for y'all. So it's a need to take your power back in your mind and in your spirit and start just literally saying positive affirmations to yourself, doing vision boards and painting out and structuring out what it is that you want, the outcomes that you want and the goals that you're trying to accomplish and the things that you want for the future and focus on that focus on that release it to the most high but keep your eyes on the prize of that and that is what is going to help you bring in the best of what is to come for you now for y'all's art card henry rosso with the number five and reverse there's some drastic change coming, and that card is the Snake Charmer. I'm going to bring it up close. It has got a lot of green going on. These are snakes around a lady here in the midst of the woods or some jungle-like area. You know what I'm saying? And she's also playing a piccolo on some pipe, piper type stuff. So there are a bunch of different images Uh that come up here and but what i'm getting for that in particular for y'all group three is that y'all have the gift of gab and the gift of sweet talking charisma and charm y'all can about talk anybody into doing anything that you want them to do talk your way into any room and talk your way out of any trap and spirit is issuing a warning for you to Make sure that you're consistent in using that for good and not for selfish reasoning and not to manipulate or abuse anyone. Um, I'm getting that because there are some projects that a lot of you are going to be working on, um, specifically creative people. And similar um, to a message that came up for group two as well, there's a need for you to... I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anybody, but R. Kelly keeps coming up and that's that's my intuition, so I got to go with it. But there's a need for you, not saying that you would be on any type of, um, pretty, mm, not saying that you would be on any type of uh, sexual assault or anything of that nature, but just making sure that you are not coming from a predatorial place or a manipulative place when you speak to people and also when you create and go about your business endeavors. I hope I made that make sense. <laughs> um, getting into the Oracle card here, number 16, which puts together one and seven, which puts together one and six and you get seven. So 
seven, definitely good luck, definitely bringing good fortune on your horizon. But first, <laughs> there's a need to reflect. There's a need to look upon what you have accomplished and also some mistakes that you've made in the past and some accountability that some people need to take. A lot of people in group two, y'all are some heartbreakers and y'all have broken some hearts and burned some bridges. And there's just a need for you to put into words the accountability that you need to take um, from that, whether you just make a public post acknowledging your faults or you contact certain people specifically and issue an apology and you don't, they don't have to accept your apology and you don't have to hang on or hold your breath waiting for them to say that they forgive you. You just need to put that in the air in order to clear out just some spiritual blocks that are probably so deep or so far out into the spiritual realm, if you will, that you cannot see. And so just doing that will help clear out some things. I'm going to read y'all's oracle card. The frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, uh, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. So yes, that definitely reaffirms that a lot of people in this group have a very strong sense and gift of manifestation. Being able to just think about something and bring it into fruition or being able to just say something and bring it into fruition, which is why I said when you speak that accountability into the air, it will automatically start clearing out a lot of blocks and lifting a lot of dead weight off of you all group Three. So to touch more on y'all's trinkets, y'all's dice here, y'all have a red and yellow dice, which is giving me root chakra and solar plexus. And that's been a general thing for this um, entire reading, the root chakra in particular. A lot of people have been struggling, feeling safe or feeling um, stable and balanced. And balance is coming in. There's just a need for you to not try to micromanage yourself, micromanage your life or micromanage anyone just keep your eyes on the prize and literally everything can fall into place effortlessly for you but what you do also need to give more attention to is speaking nicely to yourself some people in this group speak very nicely and uplifting to other people but have a hard time not being so hard on yourself so there's a need to look up some solar plexus affirmations and start saying them out loud to yourself and also writing them to yourself, drawing pictures possibly for some people that include those affirmations and or um and or putting them on vision boards and then your planners and things of that nature and that'll help generate more high vibrational self-worth and feelings of confidence and courage around you, which will also bring in more opportunities and more people with opportunities for you into your life. And so I hope that helped you all. That is all I got. I ain't got no more. But I really appreciate everybody that has come through and been showing me support. Please leave some feedback, what you like, what you may dislike. Like, comment, and subscribe. And come back. It is always a joy. Thank y'all.